It was so important to me that at every level of production of Mrs. America, we were hiring women and people of color, and that we were truly representative behind the camera as we were trying to do in front of the camera. When you're making a show about women, and for everyone, frankly, you want to do that extra reach out to try to find the right choices. It's not very often that you look around in production meetings and most of the people are in there are women, and that is a really, really cool thing to look around and see. You're fearless. That's why I got you this appointment. We had the most extraordinary group of filmmakers. It was an embarrassment of riches with how many talented women we were able to, to draw from. They'll say that women just can't pull off this sort of thing, and it'll be another 150 years until they let women gather like this again. Part of the DNA of the series was to try and find as many women behind the camera as in front of the camera. So we have a lot of astonishing female directors. Each episode does have its own personality, and each director who we hired, we hired because we thought that they'd be very good at keying into the personality of those episodes. Have women who would bring a modern sensibility and who would bring a very fresh visual look to the period drama. And no matter how long this revolution may take, there can be no turning back! <laughs> This project had the opportunity to live up to the story with regards to offering an equal voice to all people. Trying to make space for women in this industry is a very important one. As a woman in my field, at the level that I'm working at, that I can inspire others to think that, you know, they can do those kinds of things. Like, I see that there's no limits. I did it because I was the only one who had the audacity to shake this system up. The capabilities of women, all women, are endless. You got to see all of these women come in and really be able to bring together something quality and worth seeing. Changing this will take a very long time. We are dealing with 10,000 years of patriarchy and racism but we must continue to move forward in waves.